Welcome to The Woof, where we discuss everything dog-related. If you love dogs as much as we do, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If you work a lot but would like to share your life with a dog, choosing the right breed is essential. Here are breeds that tolerate better being left alone during the day. Here are the top 10 dogs that can be left alone. Do you know which one is at number one? In at number 10 is the Besenji. Nicknamed the Barkless Dog, the Besenji is an independent dog who won't mind some time alone. According to the American Kennel Club, however, they are fairly energetic and you'll need to help them burn off their energy when you get home. This can be walking around the neighborhood, playing fetch in the yard, or going to the dog park. Number 9 on the list is the Sharpei. This unusual dog of loose wrinkles, purple tongue, and a bristle-like coat is definitely among the most interesting-looking dogs out there. But it's not only his rare looks that set him apart. Sharpay is an independent dog that can even sometimes be aloof. Thanks to these traits in his personality, a Sharpay handles some alone time much better than most other breeds. They are very devoted dogs, but they have to be properly trained at an early age because they can be often stubborn, just like any other independent dog breed. In at number 8 is the Miniature Schnauzer. Miniature Schnauzers are friendly and eager to please, making them a dream to train. And because of their small size, they do well in a smaller house or apartment. Just be sure to leave a few toys out to occupy them while you're gone. Eager to learn, they will have no trouble at all staying at home alone, as long as they are provided with something to keep their minds busy, whether a toy or the role of the guard dog. Miniature schnauzers are perfect for people that are looking for low-shedding dog breeds that are also hypoallergenic. Seventh on the list is the Lhasa Apso. Carrying confidence twice its size, Lhasas are small dogs that can be left alone. This breed is highly conservative on the noise front, barking at intruders rather than anything that moves. In short, they're happy to sit at home and wait for your return. Furthermore, the Laza Apso doesn't shed much. Hence, you can look forward to fewer messes and responsibilities after a long day. Although, to make sure your Laza is able to stay home alone, comfortably you must train and socialize them when they're young. That way, they can become acclimated to visitors, outside noises, and things around the house that they may interact with while you're gone. In at number six is the Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a type of dog with a sense of independence and self-dignity like no other. Chows aren't normally cuddly, nor do they display affection in the usual way, but that does not mean that they aren't affectionate or loving in their own sophisticated way. Living with a chow is more like living with a flatmate than living with a pet that depends on your presence. Being like that, chow will do well if left home alone. Fifth on the list is the Basset Hound. It may come as a surprise, given the hunting background of the breed, but Bassets are an easygoing type of dog that can easily turn into couch potatoes if given a chance to. More importantly, the Basset Hound is stable and not prone to mood swings or anxiety. So, if you are in the mood to go for a hike, the Basset will be cool with that. And if some alone time daily is what has to be done, it's cool with that as well. In at number 4 is the Maltese. Cute, fluffy, and adorable, Maltese pups are sweet companions. And while they definitely have energy and will happily run around your home, they don't need as much exercise as other breeds and are among the dogs that can be left alone. They will often bark to alert you if they hear something unfamiliar, but it's usually not for attention. To keep their chatting to a minimum when you're away, he recommends leaving them in a room away from the front door and from windows with a view of outdoor activity. Third on the list is the pug. Good news if you can't get enough of these scrunchy-faced cuties. Pugs are generally adaptable and can accept a consistent routine of you coming and going, starting with small alone time sessions during puppyhood to get them used to your schedule. But being dogs that can be left alone is just one of Pug's settling points.
This lovable small dog does not require vigorous daily exercise, Dr. Tripp continues. And although a good watchdog, he tends to bark less than others his size. Pugs are also usually comfortable with children, especially if they are raised together. In at number two is the Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are not only the perfect family-friendly four-legged friend, but they're also one of the dog breeds that can be left alone for lengthy periods in the right conditions. While they can be left alone independently, Chihuahuas do prefer a little four-legged company, so they aren't totally responsible for their entertainment. Having just one can lead to boredom and depression, and a lack of activity that must be caught up on through attention and affection. Like all dogs, this will mean playtimes, cuddles, and walks, which may add more responsibilities to your already busy schedule. The best dog that can be left alone is the Greyhound. Greyhounds are one of the best dog breeds that can be left alone for long periods. Although they may look like sleek bundles of energy, these dogs are often satisfied with a couch and a comfy blanket. These hounds have famously low separation anxiety and make minimal noise, no barking, whining, or crying while you're out. As a result, they're often able to be left alone for up to eight hours a day. This makes them the ideal dog breed for full-time workers. However, it's also important to make sure your greyhound is adequately trained to be left in the house alone. They're largish dogs, which could lead to bumps and knocks around the house, leaving it looking like a tornado has ripped through. While it's unlikely to be intentional, it's something to be mindful of. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you agree with our selection? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.